Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Stelling and I am with the Photo Editing and Digi Scrap Academy. This is the last of the Sunday snippets for this season. We will be coming back next season with all new things. But uh, what I wanted to let you all know, those of you who are Academy members, you get access to every single Sunday snippet we've ever done. And inside the blog, the, some of the Sunday snippets go away after a certain time. But those of you who are Academy members, you can always find these Sunday snippets inside the Academy. Just look at Sunday snippets season one, that is hard to say, and then season two is right below it. So all of these little bite-sized videos are inside of that area. So don't worry. And if you are interested in becoming a member, we probably will have the Academy open really, really soon you can always email me at info at naods.com if you are interested in becoming a member and I will give you some information on how to join. I hope you like this cast shadow effect by Karen. It's kind of an intermediate, maybe advanced kind of a segment, but I think you're gonna enjoy it. Thanks for being a part of the Sunday Snippets. And I said, the only thing that it needs is a shadow and a cast shadow at that. So she um, allowed me to use this to show you how to do that. And this is what it's going to look like with that cast shadow. So let's go ahead and run my action. Let's run the three pixel black action and see what happens. All you have to do is move, move the shadow up under the girl. So she is already at 50%. She's already got the Gaussian blur on her. And what we want to do is do Control T to bring up the transform tool, hold down the Control key, click on this middle transform tool, and we're going to bring that shadow down. And this is how it, it looks to you. If you think that's how you want it, that's fine. Or you can drag it over to the right if you want. I'm going to drag it over to the right. Bring it up just a little bit. Now, do you see anything wrong with the shadow now? The foot has that shadow underneath, like what I was talking about before that is so unrealistic looking. Mm -hmm. So with the control key down, grab this lower left, and you're gonna push that back in, that shadow back in under her foot. Now, if you wanna bring it over a little bit more, you can go ahead and click on that upper right. And if you want, you can move it in like that a little bit more, or you could nudge it with your uh, arrow key. So now once you're happy with it, go ahead and click on the check mark to commit that. Now that looks nice. I mean, we could have made it come over a little bit further if we wanted, but for, for now it's okay. But think about shadows when they are cast shadows. They are darker where the shadow meets the object that's casting the shadow, and they are lighter as the shadow goes away from the person or the object. So what we'd like to do to make this more realis realistic is to add a gradient shadow, gradient mask on this. This is a little bit more advanced, so if um, you're new to this, just file it away, and when you feel comfortable, come back to it. We're going to make sure we're on the shadow layer. Click on the add a layer mask. This is the mask right here. You can hit the control, the G key on your keyboard to bring up the gradient or click on the gradient tool here. We want a black and white gradient. So click on the down pointing arrow and then click on the black and white gradient. Click on the mask to make sure you're on the mask. And then we're going to just draw, I, I left clicked, I'm going to draw up here. That's going to mask, whoops, wrong way. If you make a mistake like that, just do control Z to undo. We're going to go from the top to the bottom. That's a little much. That's a little much too, I think. And that's, that's better. So it's a little fuzzier at the top. A little more opaque at the top because we have masked that away and you can see the original here it looks like I made her uh, angled more and I gave her more of a lighter shadow there